Welcome back fans and friends of archery. Today we have a review of a uh, recurve bow, Peter Nimit. He's a bow Peter Nimit, Nimit from Hungary. He is a bow builder and he sent me just this nice pretty bow and here. If you want to try. So first of all you get a nice filled sleeve with it. Then you get this bow and you made already string silencers on it. That's nice. And this bow is just beautiful. Look at this. They have here his logo branded in the wood. I tell you in a second if I know. Limbs, nice, huh? Nice recurve. And it's the Hathor. When I read it, I directly thought to myself because long time ago I read the book The Hathor Civilization, which was an interesting book. So, and what you get from him is a nice, in an envelope, the, the, the specifications of the bow. So it's the Hato, it's a hybrid bow. It's 62 inches long, has a draw weight of 38 pounds at 28, has a draw length up to 32 inches. The ideal brace head is 7.8 to 8.3 inches. The limbs are bamboo with a stable core. A 06 millimeter walnut, veneer is olive. The grip is Osage Orange, Macassa, Ebony and Action Wood. And the string is Fast Flight and there's a three layer lacquer for surface treatment on it. And if you want a bow like this from him, you pay 400 to 450 euros depending on the composition. And he gives you three years warranty. So he knows what he's doing, he trusts himself. No problem. So this is out of the way. The length we know already, pretty bow. I put the link to him obviously to his website and his Facebook page and email in the description and then you can get in contact if you want a bow like this. 32 inches of course tempting if we would have now but you know not every bow needs to be some release. Speaking of which I forgot now my three finger glove from Fairbow. But the good thing is nothing is here out far away. I simply go in and get it. <laughs> so let's see. I could just tell you the weight of the bow. Huh? So how easy it is to string. Ui, Jesus, 38 pounds? Are you sure, Peter? Oh, don't know. There is, oh look, two knocking points. There is directly from the beginning. See, see that? There is, there is nothing and there is already Hostro. Handle feels just ooh, with these nipples here. Mm, nice. Oh, yeah, easy. So for me, this one a little short and then really only 28 inches max draw. Because I don't draw that long when I shoot three fingers. Kilograms, I can tell you. 640. Fine. Mine is quite some wood here in the handle. Looks beautiful, huh? Wow. And he made already two knocking points, color matching to this yellow. Look at the curves. 28, 29, 30, 31. Easy peasy. Draws very smooth and what I like. Small details. You see this little piece of leather that allows the arrow only to lay on a friction of this piece. So the least amount of friction possible. Oh, this is deep sound. One, oh. One, two. One, two. <laughs> nice. But you have it in the handle too a bit. So we see I shoot 380 grain arrows, so 10 grain-ish. Should be fine. So first we shoot without glove. Let's see what it's doing. Looks nice. Wow. three fingers for a while. Ah, yeah. Oui, yeah, this grip, this string is bitey. Oui, I need my glove. <laughs> nice. Let's see if we can do some damage to the target. Of course I got the wrong gloves now. Bow 
it just works fine. Look at this. My fifth shot. Ah, you only need to take care of your back tension and then this bow delivers. Wow. Of course me stupid brought the wrong glove, the small one. The other one I don't know yet, so let's see without glove then. Still a little to the left. Mm, left and high. Takes a few shots. But this book gives you nice feedback. And in the handle there's nothing going on. Nice one. One more time from here. Still too high. I think the air is a little too stiff. They are. I don't know. You, you get the feeling for it, so it takes a few shots. No problem, custom bow, hot or nice, everything written on it. What a nice bow. Thank you, Peter. Let's try these ones, they are wood arrows, but I don't know the spine. And oh, the knock is too wide for these two knocking points. No, oh, no, they're too jumpy. But you can make it work, see. Hmm. Yeah. One grows with his challenges. We try the longest distance here. Oh, left low. Okay, so the arrow's a little heavy. Yeah, see? And then you know where you have to shoot. Oh, bad release. The practice three fingers more. Handle feels good. Yo, that's the center shot. See, now I'm ready for 3D. Ah, oh, my shoulder. See, shoulder was up a little. Doesn't work. So this handle feels just the hand just melts around it. This part is here thick enough, so you have slight grip on it if you want to. And for the rest, is simply either put your fingers away or you rest them here. But this bow just snuck in the hand. Really nice. I said 390 grain arrows, the dead bounce. 179 178 178 pretty good 176 and 76. Boy. I mean 180 foot per second with 10 grain. And you most probably could shoot more lightweight arrows. Dang, it's fun. For that I'm not a three finger shooter. This one goes really good. You feel a little with 10 grain. 
That's why even the string silence is so a little bit, but you know. Boring. Yep. As long as you engage your back, it's fine. There's this guy giving online courses, you know, Patreon. Maybe I should book a session with him. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, what can I say? A wood, uh, first of all, a beautiful bow. Second of all, it's not too long, 62 inches. That's just fine and manageable even in the woods. It's not that heavy, so that's fine too. The handle feels good, so you can really shoot this bow all day. And it's fun. And it's fast enough for me. It's, it's a little bit addicting. Ah, nice. Has string silences on it. What more can you ask for? Let's see. We get a bow, a string, a sleeve and a documentation. Three points? No? Yeah, six, six points. Six points. Handling of this bow is totally, if you string it and you have it, has a nice brace head to it, so that's fine. So it's easy peasy. This bow is totally uncomplicated. Handling 10. The build, really, really well built. So this is, I mean, you see, he does this since a while and you see the finishing and all these small details, the tips. They could be a little smaller for me, but it's he goes on the safe side and I understand that as usual. Okay. Ten. Basic feel of this bow. You have it in your hand, it glues in your hand. This is just here a nice pressure point. Nice, and then the draw. This is so basic feel of this bow. It just does what you want. You need a few arrows and maybe find the right spined arrows and weighted arrows and everything and length. I just shoot these ones because I found them now. Doesn't mean that they are the right ones and I should not do here. Anchor, shoot, then it's way more precise. So take your time. Oh, look, the tips are loose. really nice kicks arrows nice away so what do we have basic feel is 10 draw experience is just smooth 10 and shooting experience after 50 shots you know what this bow is doing and which distance and whatever and how to compensate for it and it's a complete no-brainer so this one everybody can shoot this bow 10 gives you 56 price value 450 400 400 to 450 <coughs> euros one could say it's a lot of money but look at what the slick stick now costs from Beerpo. for me slick stick was always uh, you know 300 euros in my time <coughs> price performance almost unbeatable but now it's 480 or something for a, you know, it's a good bow, but it's a little bit more in the direction of mass production. This one you can get here individual, whatever you want from Peter. You just ask him and he makes it for you. So for me, this bow even two inches shorter, four inches shorter maybe, and with a 29 inch draw would be just fine for me so I don't draw 32 inches but this bow does 32 so that's not a look at this this goes back there there it gets stiff then yes but you could draw 32 and then you get of course even more kick out of this bow but I, I don't draw that far so that's why it's a little loss because I don't draw the bow fully and I don't get the maximum performance out of it as who said so that uh, Best bow is at full draw, almost eight tenths broken or something. You know, what, Saxon Pope, I guess. I don't know. Oh, 
this autumn. So price value for the 400, 450 euros, you get a really good performer. So it's no problem, five points. And that's all I have to say for this bow. Peter, thank you very much for sending this bow to me. Really nice. I might really even go once on a 3D parkour here because there is nothing else to shoot here, only 3D parkours. Yep, and once, oh, big tension. Should practice a bit more. No, not they don't, not so bad. Here, look at them. Nice. Phew, they shoot better than the other ones, so maybe the other ones were too stiff. So find the right spined arrows. It's a little more tricky than with our Asiatic bows, of course. But once you have your setup with this one, you will be very, very happy. I don't know how long you have to wait when you order now a bow from him, but check his website and check his Facebook page and just ask Peter. He is a really nice guy. So thank you, Peter, for sending this bow to me. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.